be given complete freedom to inquire into any of these areas at will. I thought that the tie-in between the 13th and this 13th was especially interesting. Now I have a quote from Mr. Manley P. Hall. Have any of you ever heard of Manley P. Hall? Manley P. Hall is a 33rd degree Freemason, was, he's dead now, and a Satanist. He says, it is the general opinion that revolutions begin with the common people. But this is not true. The benevolently informed always, he says, always guide and direct public opinion. Now who's one of the benevolently informed? This individual was one. He was the sovereign pontiff of Freemasonry and the author of Morals and Dogma of Freemasonry. He told us in Morals and Dogma that the Knights Templars were excised, if you will, from Europe and from the Catholic Church because it was held that they worshipped strange gods. This god in particular, Baphomet, was one of them. The Knights Templar, some people believe, evolved, if you want to use the term evolved, into what we know now as current modern day Freemasonry. You might say then that Freemasonry at its core worships Baphomet. Whether you believe that or not really doesn't matter. One thing we know, universal is Freemasonry. This is from Morals and Dogma, and you can see Freemasonry is everywhere. This is just one page. It's in the Northern Europe, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Holland, it's in German, Germany, it's in Berlin, it's in Hanover, it's all over the place, it's in Southern Europe, it's in Asia, it's in South America, and it's in North America. It is universal.